The National Liberty Foundation is a Tea Party group based in Florida that apparently does not include a lot of members who play video games. On their Facebook page, they recently posted this image. So if you haven't played Bioshock Infinite, basically this is a propaganda poster from the game. It is meant to mock the jingoistic and xenophobic founders, the leaders of Colombia, which is the setting for the game. Now, they are a really exaggerated version of our Tea Party. They hate the poor, they hate outsiders, they're extremely religious, and that sort of thing. And so I just love Love that they apparently missed that subtext and just put it up there thinking, well, yeah, this is great. Let's guard against the foreign hordes for God and country. And what this tells me is that people who want to satirize the right, we have a lot more work to do because apparently the most exaggerated over the top version of them that we can come up with, they accept gladly. That's their goal, apparently, is to be the, the, the founders in Colombia. Now, this is not the only image that the Tea Party group has put on their Facebook page. They got to fill that every day. And so you can expect the normal sorts of anti-Obama and anti-left wing memes. Let's go over a few because the bar is set very low low for that sort of thing. You can pretty much put any quote you want. Nobody will fact check it. Yeah, any leap in logic. Nobody really checks that stuff. So we're going to do it here today. The next image. Let's stop sending money to the Middle East and let them hate us for free. Like I said, the bar is set very low on the internet, not just for these sorts of images, but for intelligence. But I don't think that that person put even a goddamn second of thought into it. Look, if we were sending money, money to the Middle East, like food, maybe economic assistance, things like that. I don't think they would want to suicide bomb us. I don't think they'd want to lay their life on the line to destroy a couple of US soldiers. Is it really any wonder that a lot of people in that region of the world hate us after our multiple wars there, after demonstrating that we think that we can pretty much do whatever we want in the Middle East? Finally, Christmas without Christ is just a mess. Now, that one seems pretty easy to debunk considering that the actual letters are on there. No, Christmas without Christ is not a mess, it is a moss. So apparently you've uncovered two things. One, that you can't read, and two, that without Christ, Christmas becomes a Spanish holiday. And oddly enough, without Navi, the fairy, Feliz Navidad becomes Feliz Dad, Happy Fathers, or something like that. Hey, listen, your group is led by idiots. Now look, it might seem petty, I suppose, to go through their Facebook page and, and, and tear down the idiotic posts that they put, but the problem really is not the people who run this organization or other Tea Party organizations. It's that people actually eat this shit up. They go on those sites, they thumbs up the photos, they spread them around on Facebook and other social media sites thinking that they've actually proven something, thinking that they've actually revealed something about the left when they have not. They have only revealed something about themselves they're too stupid to be involved in politics.